Today I'm sharing a lookbook of nine classy and effortlessly chic outfits I'm wearing on repeat. Now comfort is key to a great looking outfit. Ultimately, if it's not comfortable, you will barely reach for it in your wardrobe. So these outfits are not only classy, but they're also me very much in my comfort zone, which in turn then makes you look effortlessly chic. If you like this video and the way I put outfits together, it would be lovely if you'd like to subscribe to my channel. And at the end of this video, follow the link in the description box below to find my daily style pictures over on Instagram. Now when I want to feel effortlessly chic, reaching for a favourite coat is one of my go-to formulas. The right coat can give a classy outfit more direction. And whether you want to go classy, Parisian style or preppy, adding a coat, jacket or blazer is often the finishing touch of polish you need. The key to this outfit is of course comfort, in a smart but casual fashion. So I've styled a crisp white shirt with my cigarette pants, which pair nicely with my trainers and keep the look feeling refined. And then I've added my khaki lightweight trench coat to bring it all together. I love the look of the somewhat floaty coat sat against the stiffness of that shirt. Khaki, of course, is one of the big trends we will see for spring, summer 21, and it was really affordable too, so even better. Many of you will have seen that I've been on a bit of a roll finding really great pairs of jeans recently. Finding both a brilliant pair of straight leg crops and my perfect loose fitting jeans. The latter came courtesy of Everlane, the perfect boyfriend jean that you can wear low slung on your hips and then just add a belt and cinch them up for that perfect shape on high waisted jeans that don't feel too tight anywhere. Here I'm styling them with the blouse that I'm wearing, a new favourite in my capsule wardrobe. The beauty of course with pieces like this is in those little details. I love that frill around the collar, which when you leave it a little bit unbuttoned just falls to the side. It's simple, elegant and classy, with just a little twist of nostalgia which I just love. I've kept the look very sunshine hopeful, just adding a tan leather belt and my nearly matching bucket bag. Now a lot of people thought I was absolutely mad buying a pair of white trousers for winter, but I can't tell you how many times I've worn them, so absolutely been worth the pennies for me. At first thought, these trousers were meant to be kept for best, special occasions, etc. But it quickly became apparent over the last year that I was going to have to freestyle a touch with the term special event. The supermarket became my big event, so I had to find a way to make it work. So I started to style them in a much more relaxed fashion, and I realized I love them just as much like that. So with this look, I've just paired them with a nice crisp blue organic cotton shirt that I've got recently. Uh, on my feet, I'm wearing my white Converse high tops, and I've just layered a cardigan over my shoulders. One, obviously for practical reasons, but two, I really love that touch of blush pink sat against the blue with the white trousers. I love those tones together. I personally love this sort of outfit. Obviously it's high up on the comfort factor, but I feel sophisticated and chic at the same time. One piece that's definitely been on repeat in my capsule wardrobe is this pair of chinos. I love them. They are just so ridiculously comfy, and yet they make me feel classy, polished, and elegant all rolled into one. I did actually originally buy them a size up, because I'm really liking those looser fits that we're seeing this spring summer. However, I think I'd taken my how baggy can you go a little bit far. So I send them back and exchange them for my actual size. They're still loose fitting, but I do think they look much better. And they mix and match with loads in my capsule wardrobe, which is always the sign of a good piece. Looking effortlessly chic is all about simplicity for me. I try and stay away from prints that are too fussy, and I don't add jewelry for the sake of it. Choose your fabrics wisely and add just enough to feel complete. I'm definitely a less is more kind of woman. Going super relaxed now with this next outfit, but one that in truth has had a lot of wear recently, so it's definitely made my shortlist. Twisting my loungewear to look elevated was the only way I'd allow myself to wear it during the daytime throughout lockdown. I just kept trying to convince myself that normal life must resume in some shape or form. And like I mentioned, a lot to do with looking effortlessly chic is down to the comfort factor, which this outfit, to be fair, has in bucket loads. I have this Everlane sweatshirt and jogging bottoms in both a gorgeous mint tone and this grey marl. 
Actually, Everlane have one beautiful selection of sorbet tones this season in their staple organic fabrics, so definitely worth a peek. I sized up on the jumper portion to give it an extra slouch, and I went true to size on the bottoms. Trainers work well with these types of outfits, but I've also worn this out with ankle boots too, which works surprisingly well. I finally found something that goes with my favorite red shoes, so I've definitely been wearing this outfit on repeat a lot lately. I can't help but think of Parisian style whenever I see red shoes. And in my humble opinion, French women always look so effortlessly chic, so I'm more than happy to borrow a few of their styles. These Everlane skinnies have been getting lots of wear recently. They're such a great fit and the shape feels really flattering, which is never a bad thing. And I like the deep indigo shade, which makes those hints of red pop even more. And then I've been finishing this outfit with a blazer. As a whole, the outfit feels classy and elevated, with just a nod towards the trends, but not too overdone. My favorite kind of style. One closet essential that never fails to make me feel effortlessly chic would be a classic striped shirt. And as Everlane quite rightly say, it combines put together polish with lived in comfort. And I couldn't agree more. Made from pure cotton, but slightly silky to the touch, it feels lovely against my skin. And I think the white collar and cuffs add a nice finishing detail. Now, although they say it's oversized, I still sized up to a USA 4, as I really don't like shirts fitting too tight. And now trying it on, I think I could have sized up to a six, actually. I personally feel most comfortable when a shirt is baggy, like a boyfriend shirt, I guess. So the bigger, the better for me. You could easily switch out the ankle boots for trainers or heels even, if you're going somewhere nice. I'm so happy to finally be getting my spring summer clothes down from the attic. I'm ready to create my spring capsule wardrobe, which I shall actually be filming very soon. Lockdown didn't help, of course, but I do much prefer the sunshine to the snow. So it was with a happy heart that I got to style these paper bag trousers for another season. They are definitely the gift that keeps on giving. The tailored shape works nicely for the fashion trends this season, and that rich camel tone always makes an outfit feel classy and chic. It's pretty cold today, so I was tempted to wrap myself up a little adding my similar toned cotton sweater and really tucking that in so you could see the detail on those trousers. I think camel and navy always look so elegant together. And it's an outfit I repeat a lot actually with my blue Breton tops and camel cardigans. Ultimately, looking effortlessly chic should be easy to replicate. You definitely don't need the same pieces I have or the same tones either. Just pick a shade you love or maybe something you've got an awful lot of in your own wardrobe and just build your outfit up from there. One outfit I've been wearing on repeat for months now would be this next look. My big chunky knit alpaca blend sweater worn with my navy tone cigarette trousers. Depending on the weather, I've been mixing this up and adding a coat, blazer, or jacket to keep me warmer. But if I can get away with it, I like the look just like this with a big blanket scarf. This scarf would actually be one of my best investment pieces. Having been made from cashmere, it was a little on the pricey side. However, it's so beautifully warm, quite literally like wearing a blanket. So it's had a lot of wear. Do let me know your favorite outfit in the comments section below. Do you get where I'm coming from with the white trousers in winter? Or maybe you found a great blanket scarf that you'd like to recommend to everyone. It's always really lovely hearing from you all. I'm always grateful for any likes you've got going spare. And of course, if you're new here and you're not already subscribed, that would be lovely too. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you've enjoyed these nine classy and effortlessly chic outfits I've been wearing on repeat. And I really hope it's given you lots of outfit ideas and inspiration. Have a great week, everyone, and I will see you in a couple of days. Take care.